Members of the Guam Police Department's Criminal Investigation Division had no idea what they were getting themselves into when they executed a search warrant at this single-story home in Agate next to Chalan Sula. Police Lieutenant Ron Titano says agents executed a search warrant this morning related to an ongoing burglary investigation. Upon our search here, we came across very unhealthy living conditions. And uh, because of the unsanitary conditions, we notified uh, the Environmental Protection Agency and Public Health. So they've come down there and done their inspections. As well as CPS? Yes. Were there minors that were living here? Yes, there were. Officers were shocked to know that anybody was living in the horrid conditions, much less a 5-year-old and a 16-year-old. At the back of the home, officers discovered piles and piles of trash that looked like a mini dump. The trash was piled so high, officers couldn't even open the back door of the house to exit the home. Inside, it wasn't much better. We're told that officers literally had to use shovels to move things around the home as trash and items were littered inside. We're told that the living conditions were extremely deplorable, with parts of the roof falling off in parts of the home. We've conducted uh, maybe several searches over the last couple of months, and uh, lately we've been finding more and more of this. And as right now, over the last couple of months, the ones that I've been involved in, this has got to be by far the worst one I've seen. Several officers even donned white hazardous material suits as they entered the home, while others wore gloves as they rummaged through the items in search of stolen property. Lieutenant Titano says the investigation stems from a burglary that was reported to police back in January. We've recovered a few items uh, that we find to be evidentiary, and um, right now we're still investigating. Again, we're still talking to a few people. We hope to recover a few more stolen items. There are indications that the burglary was drug related, but police have not confirmed that information at this time. We were told that several people were taken into custody for questioning, but no arrests have been made as of news time. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Indy Egan.